Hello and thank you for joining us. During this short video we're going to talk about some of the features of rate management in the Open Hotel system. Here you'll see a screen that you utilize in order to add a rate plan. First I'm going to show you all that you have to do, then I'm going to go through all the options that you can use in order to make your rates work online and on your PMS the way that you want it to. On the rate plan, you can add a name if you want. If not, it will automatically add it for you. All you need to do is add the dates, and then as you scroll down, any room types that are affected by these dates, you will check, or you can, you can utilize these links. You add the rates. or change the rates. And if you click Sunday, it will go all the way across so you don't have to tab, tab, tab. Then you simply come down and hit Submit. That's all you have to do on rates, but let's talk about all the functionality that you can utilize. The system automatically knows your default cancellation range. It will pre-fill that in for you. You can change this. So for instance, if you have a special event that may occur, occur outdoors, you don't want a one day cancellation because obviously if it's scheduled to rain, everybody's gonna cancel. You can do a minimum night advance bookings. Let's say you're having a special, you wanna promote that, but you don't want um, bookings within two days of the event, you can do that. If you utilize packages, you can black them out during an event. On minimum night stays, you may use it for all rooms, or you can have each room type have a separate minimum night stay. This may uh, be utilized in such a way that your penthouse may require a four night stay, where your room that overlooks the parking lot, one night stay. You can also specify minimum night stays based on day of check-in. So if they check in on a Friday, you'll require a two night stay. Or if they check in on a Saturday, you require a two night stay. It's not that you really care if there's a Saturday check-in, it's that you don't want a Saturday only check-in to spoil your weekends. You can set a max stay. This is a required field in some part of the countries, and that's why you'll see it here. This minimum during means that if there is a minimum night stay, then it must fall within this time period. In other words, it protects your shoulder periods. So if you have a special event that's five days long, you're requiring a three night stay, those three nights must fall during that higher rate period, but you don't have to close out your shoulders to accomplish that. We do offer close to arrival. This is not utilized very often because people can often accomplish what they want more effectively by utilizing the functionality above. On discounts, you can have your standard discounts such as AAA, AARP, you can turn those off during a rate period. You can also offer free nights. You can offer length of stay, and you can tier these. So on the third night, you wanna give 10% off. They stay four nights, you're going to give them 15, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Advanced booking, if you book 10 days in advance, I'll give you 15% off. And again, it's tiered. You can offer as many discounts as you want. The system understands that discounts are not stacked, so it will display to the guest or to your front desk or reservationist the best available discount for that guest automatically. Obviously, it won't allow them to have multiple. A rate period can have a separate policy. This is automatically added to your standard policy, but it is event specific. 
So for instance, if it's a event that will require an increased deposit or a different cancellation range, you could also verbalize it right here. If you're processing credit cards through your PMS, you can also define the policy for this specific event. So again, if it's a special event and you want to capture 50% of the reservation rather than one night like you normally do, you can. Always just come down here and hit submit and you're good to go. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. This is one of a series that goes over our features. Please see the others or contact us if you have any questions.